Oops, I accidentally didn't save it. <sighs> From morning to night, I checked every single bookstore and library in Kisoji. With no luck. Not a single scrap of info on Kupitaro of Kintoki. Shit, I can't find anything. When it got late, I switched to looking online, but it came up just as empty. I can't believe I'm stuck already. I'm a damn idiot. Hazuki, what are you doing here? This place has been on my walking route lately. I saw the light on, so I got curious. What are you looking up online? Ghost pictures? Or maybe something naughty? Don't make me punch you. Oh, did I interrupt something? You too, Amanome. Why? What else? I'm here for Miss Natsumi. I thought maybe I could finally see her today. My luck's been horrible recently. As Amanome talks, he glances over at the laptop in front of me. Damn, I still have Kubitaro of Kintaki typed in the search bar. What's this Kubitaro? Oh, I know. That's the name of a spirit, right? Did you meet up with Kakuya? Keeping mum, I see. You forget, I know you very well. You're thinking of being the cool guy who doesn't want to get other people involved or something. Gah. I bet you're panicking because you can't find any information though, am I right? Grr. No fair, Kijima. You're keeping spirit things from me. I want to know. Tell me. I don't think I can avoid it at this point. I give up. I share everything I heard from Kakuya. Kupitaro of Kintoki, huh? That's what I don't know. Wait, back up. You, the mistress of all occult, don't know. Yeah, I've never heard the name before. Damn, it must be really obscure. And you know I don't know. Not even sure I want to know for my own sanity. But if you say Kintoki around here, it can only refer to one place. Kintoki is a suburb north of Kisoji Station. It's located on the other side of the railroad crossing where I picked up Hazuki a few days ago. He might know something. Hey, Maruhashi. Yes, sir. Hey, how you all doing? Looking sharp as always, Kojima. Didn't know you were here. Master Seiji told me to wait outside. Ah, this AC feels so good. I'm completely sweaty. Maruhashi, you grew up in Kintoki, didn't you? You ever heard the name Kubitaro of Kintoki? Maybe it's an urban legend or ghost story or something. Kubitaro of Kintoki. Could be that. You know something. Maybe, a little. I heard rumors recently about some dog killings that have been going on in Kintaki. Oh, I saw that on the news. Something about a lot of dogs being killed lately. So it's going on in Kintaki. The cops are investigating it already. It's bumped up patrols in the city day and night. It's a pain getting anywhere. What's this have to do with Kubitaro? There's a rumor. People are saying the one doing it is Kubitaro of Kintoki. The culprit is a spirit. I want to know more, Maru. Huh? Is that supposed to be me? Ah, uh, sorry. I shortened your name. It sounds rough and so are you, so... You don't like it? No, it's cool, I'm cool. Since you look like Momo. It's like Momo herself is calling me that. I don't mind. What a bittersweet feeling. What are you getting all excited for, Tabi? Hurry up and tell us about Kubitaro. Yes, sir. I'll go ahead and start. This is what I heard from my older sister who lives in Kentucky. Hey, have you heard about what's ha been happening in Kintaki? Oh yeah, the dog killings. I think there's a... CG with a beheaded dog, so if you're not cool with that, I would be 
wary of a CG. I don't know if I'm gonna edit this and put it in. Just be aware. It's not a real dog, but it could be upsetting um, for those who don't really want to see that. Um, I heard this from other people, but one day, late at night, the Neighbourhood Association's chairman took his dog for a walk. He usually does them before sunset, but he was so busy that day that they went out at night. He passes a transmission tower on his walk that people call Kentucky Tower. In front of it sits an old mini shrine. The old-fashioned chairman was deeply religious, so he made a manju offering to the shrine. But then... His dog suddenly started growling. This had never happened on any of the previous walks. The chairman thought it strange, especially since everything around him looked normal. But then the dog escalated to barking. Anxious, he urgently tried to shush it. It was late and the sound would disturb the neighbors, but the dog was barking like it lost its mind. The chairman was becoming concerned when suddenly a low voice came from behind. Av. Av head? Av head? Oh, it's a Shiba Inu. Bring it over here. He was so frightened that he couldn't turn around. The whole time this was going on, the dog was barking at someone behind him, but... Suddenly, the barking stopped. Jolted back to his senses, the chairman spun towards his dog. Only to see the animal collapsed in a pool of bright red blood. And they say the dog was missing its head. See, this is, you. we will get a CG at some point. I might edit to, sh to let you know it's coming up. I think I will. I think I will. I'll make a note of it. The chairman escaped safe and sound. But rumours say other owners have been killed trying to protect their pets. And their heads were cut off. It's possible that it's the ghost of Kubitaro of Kintoki, a murderer who killed in Kintoki a long time ago. <laughs> Man, these dumb people. Immediately turning to the supernatural to explain any weird thing that happens. Could just be some nutcase. Amanomi bounces back from his frozen state surprisingly quickly. Seems his experience with the Urashima woman mellowed him out a bit towards ghosts and horror. This guy, Kubitaro of Kintoki. He was a big guy who lived in Kintoki way before I was born. My granny would tell me he was a really cruel man. He'd cut off the heads of animals, dogs and cows and the like, and collect them. Wow, that's awful. I wonder why. Maybe he was performing a black magic ritual? I don't know that much. Hey, Maruhashi. That rumor earlier. You said Kubitaro was a murderer, yeah? Does that mean... He was also collecting human heads? Yeah, sounds like. That's what all my friends and family back in Kintoki say. Well, actually, my granny didn't bring up the part where he was a murderer that much. She'd always just talk about the animal's heads. Hmm. Looks like the rumor has discrepancies. Rumors are unreliable, after all. It's common for there to be slight differences in the telling. It might be wise to take this one with a grain of salt, Akira. I gotta follow up on it, though. It's just like the Urashima woman. Right. There are no other leads. Hey, Maru, you don't have anything else on Kubitaro. Hmm, well... Oh, that's right. I heard Kubitaro loved Manjus. It's the one thing I get about him. I'm a sucker for Manjus, too. What you like isn't important. Guess this is all we're getting out of Maruhashi. Well, it's better than what we had. So, what are you gonna do, Akira? Test the rumor, like I did last time, with throwing a rock. I'm going to check if Kubitaro exists. Test the rumor, huh? Sure, that makes sense. But what part of the rumor were you thinking of testing? Of a manju at night. Hmm, I wonder. It could be that walking a dog at night is a condition. Maybe. We can start by going to the tower. We can try other ideas after we get there. That's true. I'm down. I want to see this place for myself. I agree too. Maru, where's this Kintoki Tower? 
Sounds like they're both planning on tagging along on this case too. Doubt I can stop them at this point. Walk through the shopping district by the station, then cross the railroad tracks. It's a straight shot from there. Can't get lost. You just gotta keep an eye out. Because of everything that's been going down, the cops are out patrolling at night too. Damn, it'd just suck if they catch us. Can you get your police friend to deal with it, Amanome? No, not right away. I don't even know who's in charge of things there. Guess it's back to sneaking. Um... I don't really get what's going on, but you're going to look for Kubitaro, right? I know my way around Kintoki. Want me to guide you? No, we don't need you. A thug face like you walking around with us, the police won't hesitate to question us. But you're gonna face off against a crazy psycho who tears off dogs' heads. It's too dangerous. I can't stay behind while you're putting yourself in danger, sir. You have a little faith in me? You have that little faith in me? Yeah, you could say that. A rookie like you who can't even collect properly shouldn't talk so big. Don't you agree, Akira? You don't seem to care. Well, that's fine. Uh, so you're really harsh. But he did give us information on Kubitaro. At this point, isn't he being more helpful than at Amanomi? Okay, yes, you did well providing us with info. You're always going on about how someone gave birth to twins or new products in stores. You're very skilled in gathering the least lucrative information, I'll give you that. Mr. Seiji. So just keep collecting info on Kubitaro. And don't do anything unnecessary, got it? Understood, leave it to me. He nods vigorously, a huge smile on his face. I feel like I'm watching a bulldog getting praised by its owner. He's practically wagging a tail. Akira, Hazuki, sorry to keep you waiting. We should get going. We part from Maruhashi outside the bar and make our way towards Kisoji Station. New spirit file. Isn't this the first one? Yes, it is. Kubitaro rumor notes. Kakuya's game, Kubitaro of Kintoki. This a new spirit? Cop came by. Reina Oe. Dog killed in Kintoki. Did Kubitaro do it? Off a manju, mini shrine, Kintoki tower at night. Dog barks. He asks, do you have a head? Turn around, dog's head gone. Info not reliable? He also likes manju. Well, we're here in front of the station, but I'm already seeing some pesky flies. He quirks his lips up in a small smile and his eyes flick over to the police station. There are two officers visible inside. Come on, stop that. Everyone knows police and dogs bite if you make eye contact with them. But that station there is actually in charge of canvassing all of Kintoki. If anything happens, they're the first responders. We should keep an eye on them. He's got a point. A look out here would be good backup if things go south. Mm, Kintoki is through the shopping district and across the railroad crossing from here, right? We stopped near a crossing earlier, though I can't say I know much about Kintoki. Pretty sure the only thing it's famous for is Kintoki Manju. Wait, seriously? Aren't they disgusting? Word is the shopping district committee is really pushing sales. Anything to be famous. I'll buy you sometime. So I'll buy you some sometime, Akira. That's okay. Amanome or Hazuki, who do I take with me on the investigation? Amanome. Right, let's go. Be careful. Okay, so we move towards Kintoki. Do I look at anything here? Something's wrapped in front of the jizo. The label says it's Kintoki Manju. These manju taste horrendous, but man, if they don't have an amazing selection of flavors. I put back the manju. What? You're not going to take it with you? I won't, I won't stoop to stealing offerings. Alright. I don't think there's anything for me to look at here. But we can still look... Nothing looks to be sold out. wonder if they ever need to restock. Uh, let's just, um... The esk does not work. Is it just that? No, it's not. Let's just go forward.
There's an offering over here. The crossing's open, finally. This thing makes you wait forever after it closes. Hurry, I just suck it if it closes on us again before we get across. The flowers look fresh, must have been offered by someone recently. Just keep going. So, we've been walking a while now. Is it me, or is security a lot more lax than expected? Well, it works for us, though you have to wonder if they can really keep the peace like this. Says the guy who disrupts the peace. Huh? What are you talking about? It's thanks to people like me that they even have jobs. It's an arrangement that's mutually beneficial. What a terrible world we live in. Now just you made it like this. <laughs> right then. Eek! Um, someone there. You prodded fate a bit too much there, didn't you? A cop appears out of nowhere by the side of the parking lot. Did he time that? The cop's smile looks rather forced. What are you doing here so late? Oh yeah, we're just... There's been a rash of dangerous, disturbing cases lately. You shouldn't wander about. I've seen the recent crime scene myself. It was gruesome. Mind if I ask you a few things, and I'd like to see some form of ID, just as a precaution. Not good. My record's not exactly clean. I've been busted once before for a fight. It'll be a problem if he finds out my name. I'm gonna have to dodge his questions somehow. A lot of people are reporting crazy supernatural things to the station for some reason. Seriously, the police aren't shamans. We don't deal with ghosts and the like. Anyway, I'd appreciate if you if it if you cooperate. Weird. The cop's being really talkative. Maybe he doesn't like this sort of thing. Alright, we're in a crisis. Point into the distance. They really try to debate you. Like, oh, he's being talkative. Ask about the incident? That's the wrong choice. Hey, what's that over there? In a bid to distract him, I point to a spot far away that's too dark to see clearly. I mean the intersection. I'm not seeing anything there. No, further back, by the pole in at the intersection past that. Hey, come now, you can't see that far. You shouldn't make things up. This guy doesn't look it, but he's a pro athlete. His eyesight is incredible. So I don't doubt he's seen something. What was it then? You're not gonna say you saw a ghost, are you? Psh, no way. There's no such thing as ghosts. Well, care to tell us what you saw? Sure, I'll tell you what I saw. It was a strange dog. It was a weird dog. A weird dog? Weird how? Can't say for sure as the thing ran off, but it didn't have one. Didn't have what? He gulps loudly. A head. Huh? You mean... Are you sure the incident isn't getting to you? That's probably it, yeah. It's not, pos it's not possible. I'm sure you saw a regular dog. There's no freaking way there's a headless dog running around. It sounds like he's trying to convince himself. His face is paled. I think so too, but... So, so, it's only a dog. You're just mistaken. There's no other explanation. Uh, uh how about we move to the station? I mean, we can't relax here, can we? There's a chance the strange dog you saw might come out again. He's pretending to be fine, but that trembling voice and pale face are a dead giveaway. Maybe if I put the scare in him some more, he won't stay focused enough to, to question us. But if I go too far, it might snowball into a big deal. Hold up. I fix my gaze over the cop's shoulder. What? Is there something there? He quickly spins around to look behind him. Well, I thought I saw something again. You mean over by that house with the red roof? There's a dark shadow near its gate. It's a little fuzzy, but it 
Kinda looks like a dog. The gate's hiding it, so I can't see what the head looks like. Enough! Alright. You guys are good to go. Hurry on home, okay? Don't take any detours. <laughs> what a noob. With his voice shaking almost as much as he is, the cop leaves us as a fa at a fast clip. Easy mode. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, check the time. Okay. We're good. We're good. Phew, that was close. Thank god that cop was a wuss. Normally a lie like that would be easily seen through. I'm sure me playing along helped. So, what did you think of my acting? Hollywood should be knocking down my door, don't you think? You wouldn't even get cast in a middle school play. While we're joking around, I hear footsteps from behind. Did that cop come back? I cautiously turn and... Heh, seems like there was some trouble. It's Maruhashi. He's holding a paper bag that he didn't have earlier. I eye it closely. Probably has a lot of manju in there. Oh, this? Thought you might need him, so I bought some kintoki manju. Why are you here? Did you... I'm really sorry. I got curious, so I followed you. Please don't hurt me. If he's followed us this far, I doubt he'd turn back even if we told him to. Guide us then. This is your hometown, right? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Kojima. I, Maruhashi, will not fail to guide you. Speaking of, how far is this Kintoki Tower place from here? You're almost there, actually. You see that transmission? Do you, do you see the tower over there? <laughs> you see that transmission tower over there? I squint and look into the dim sky. There's a hazy outline of a giant metal tower. So that's it. Okay, so... Anything, anything, anything. This game is a coward. Alright. We need to... It says examine the sign, but I can't. So we're gonna have to examine the shrine. Oh no, we examined the small shrine. Okay. This is such a confusing walkthrough. This must be the old mini shrine we heard about. Now what should I do? Something's written on the sign in thin letters. The thing's smudged and hard to read, but it looks like the origin of the mini shrine is explained. It says, A sacred tree called Kintoki Cedar used to be here. The cedars were two brothers called Taru Kintoki and Jiro Kintoki. The one here was Taro. It says both brother cedars are gone now, with only this mini shrine left. I see, so that's why the transmission tower is called Kintoki Tower. A bit bland for a sacred tree replacement, but I guess they wanted to pass the name down. They then left the mini shrine in place of the tree. Everyone's afraid of the wrath of the gods. After all, they say the Kintoki cedars had some crazy ass powers. Crazy ass powers, you say? Like what? Is it a legend of a man accomplishing a great deed or some illness being cured? Uh, my granny says, apparently the two sacred trees gave divine protection from the lightning. Ever since the trees were cut down, there've been more lightning strikes and electrical accidents. Well, that's just stupid. If lightning strikes stop because of tree powers, because of tree powers, then we wouldn't have needed Ben Franklin. What's he got to do with this? Huh? Well, maybe someday you'll realize. It's not important right now. So, Maruhashi, are there any other odd legends? Uh, I don't know anymore. When I was a squirt, they just told me not to play around here or even talk about it. They also said not to go near the well, but, well, that's common sense. The well, huh? The well is probably dry, but someone's still maintaining it. Alright. Um, make an offering. There's a small plate for placing offerings in front of the mini shrine. May as well test out that rumor. Hey, Maruhashi. Yes, sir. What can I do for you? Hand me one of the manju you bought. Here you go. Uh, he pulls out a kintoki manju from his paper bag and hands it to me. Once I've got it, I go to place it on the offering plate. What is this? 
When I look closer at the plate, there are weird things scattered about around it. Yeah, come on. That better not be something gross. What is it, Akira? I stick my nose close, but it doesn't smell like much of anything. It takes a bit of staring, but I finally realize what it used to be. It's a manju. The mess there is unrecognizable remains of what had been a manju. The red bean paste inside had squirted out in an uncanny resemblance to intestines. Damn, that's surprising. It's just a manju. The manju got back at you for talking shit about it. Some kind soul must have offered a manju before we did. Crows or rats probably got at it. Those things literally eat anything. Probably. Focus. I place the manju on the small plate. Doesn't look like Kubitaro's coming. We all glance around, but nothing looks different. Well, well obviously. Rumors are just that, after all. <laughs> Maybe it was the walking dog part. Walking the dog part. No, we don't know yet. It was the same with the Urashima woman. Nothing happened right after I threw the rock, but she actually... A summery, lukewarm breeze blows between the transmission tower and the nearby homes. I swear I... Did I just feel a gaze on me? Or was I imagining it? Something the matter, Kojima? Your face kind of froze there. No, it's nothing. Huh? For real? You seriously want to do that? Well, you know, formalities. Akira, you're unexpectedly religious. Can't exactly fault me for it. Anyone in a situation like mine would be the same. If bowing my head will help, will get me help from God or Buddha, I'll bow as many times as I need to. Well, if that makes you feel better, then I'll do it with you. What a good friend. We line up next to each other and bow our heads to the mini-shrine. Nothing really feels any different, but I fulfilled my duty. Alright, we're done. An old well that's been closed with a concrete lid. There's a chain over the lid sealing it tight. Could be they don't want people falling in. That's it. man screams from somewhere close by. Was that... Let's go. Instinct has me running before I realize it. I dash around a few corners and bolt through the alley. Okay, I think the CG is coming on. So, um... If you don't want to see this CG, look away, and I will tell you when the CG is over. Okay? I, I really... It's fine. It's fine. The cop can only let out strangled sounds. What he's staring at? What's swinging without a breeze? Although, obviously, I will be... I don't think it goes into that much detail, but I will be, you know, saying what the text says, so... No. A headless dog hangs from a pole. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. How, how the... holy... The others catch up to me only moments later, all eyes fixed on the horrific dog corpse. Hey you, what the hell happened? Screw the guy being a cop, I demand answers from the terrified man. Axe... head. Can't have... mine. Head. Hey, did you see Kubitaro? An axe... large man took the head, went to the transmission tower. He screams loudly. It's like he's remembering exactly what he witnessed of Kubitaro. No doubt ever everyone living around here just heard that. Damn, Akira. They'll call the police. Let's get out of here. A quick nod and I take off in a sprint towards the transmission tower. 
the CG is over now. You can look back if you looked away. Where's Kubitaro? Quickly glancing around every corner yields... No one who looks remotely correct. Shit. It takes a while, but Amanomi and Maruhashi eventually catch up. You've run too fast. Did you find Kubitaro? No, no sign of him. That's so. I have to say, I'm kind of glad he's not here. Kubitaro, he's more insane than I ever imagined. That dog, the head. Don't remind me. Running full speed, it's already got me feeling sick. What is it, Kojima? Why are you sniffing around like that? Kinda... smells like blood. Oh, really? I don't smell anything. I place full trust in this guy's senses. He's like a superman, at least physically. We've checked that place earlier, but there's no harm in looking one more time. Things are gonna start moving fast soon after because of that dog thing. We don't have much time, so hurry. Now I look at the well. There's a chain over the lid sealing it tight. Could be they don't want people falling in. When I take a closer look at the sealed well... Huh, what's that weird smell? It's coming from behind the well. I slide my fingers over and behind the well to examine it when I suddenly feel a slimy sensation. Blood. It's my blood, Metri. I'm hearing something that sounds like a children's song. The dog is whining like it's afraid of something. Head to the Great Taro Kintoki on the 15th night. Off to the Great Taro Kintoki to make dad feel bit. The voice is singing rather joyfully, but the presence I feel on my skin is the icy cold touch of sadness. Head to the great Taro Kintoki on the 15th night. I heave deep breaths over and over. My heart won't stop pounding. Hey, you okay? Did you use your power? Oh, shit. There was blood on the back of the well and I accidentally touched it. What did you see? No idea, but I heard a song. A song? Head to the great Taro Kintoki on the 15th night. A children's song. The lyrics went something like that. Maybe it's referring to some old custom where people pray to the trees on the 15th night. The phrasing is definitely like a children's song. Yeah, you're right. But strangely, I don't feel entirely convinced that it's just a children's song. The emotion I picked up from touching the blood was cold and sad. That wasn't the only thing I heard. There was a dog growling. This blood must be from the dog that was killed. That means... There's a dog head inside this well. I'm of half a mind to open it and check, but I doubt we have time for that right now. That incident earlier. The cops will be here soon. If the cops find us, they'll want to question us and it'll become a big mess. Yeah, we can check again tomorrow. Let's make ourselves scarce before the cops come. We head off at a run down the path that takes us back to the residential area. I will see you in the next one.